rising to the challenge put on by the podocytes. Cystic kidney diseases are uniting and making an all-star comeback. This is a heterogeneous group of polycystic kidney diseases, nephronephesis, medullary cystic kidney disease or ADTKD, and cystic dysplasia, whose genetic mutations have been implicated in disrupted ciliary function, accelerating cyst formation and renal failure. Welcome to the Ciliopathies. What do cilia have to do with kidney disease? One usually associates these leg-like organelles to be seen on protozoa or on sperm cells or perhaps respiratory epithelium. Projecting from the cell surface, cilia are microtubule based hair-like cytoplasmic extensions with a range of sensory functions critical for developmental and physiological functions. As many as 1,000 different polypeptides are recognized within the current ciliary proteome, highlighting the structural complexity of this highly conserved organelle. Ciliopathies comprise a group of disorders associated with genetic mutations encoding defective proteins, which result in abnormal structure or function of cilia. As cilia are a component of almost all cells, ciliary dysfunction can manifest as a constellation of features that can affect most organs, leading to retinal degeneration, cystic liver disease, skeletal dystrophy, and of course, cystic kidney disease. It is thought that in renal tubular cells, primary cilia modulate the response to urine flow. Abnormal cilia response to these signals may induce activation of signaling pathways that promote cyst formation. The causative genes for ADPKD, PKD1 and 2, were first characterized in the 1980s and 90s but the role of these genes, that these genes played in cystogenesis was initially unclear. It was first associated with ciliary dysfunction when Panzer created a mouse model with mutant TG737 known to cause an ADPKD phenotype in mice and found shortened primary cilia formation in renal tubular cells. Subsequently, the proteins encoded by PKD1 and 2, namely polycystin 1 and 2, were found to co-localize in the renal cilia. Over the past 15 years, the genes responsible for multiple cystic kidney diseases, including autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease, nephronephesis, ADTKD, as well as multi-system syndromes such as Joubert's, Bardet beetle and others, have been found to localize to the primary cilia. And news continues to break on novel mutations causing these classic renal ciliopathies. Recently, a novel mutation in GANAB was found in six families with ADPKD. It encodes a protein necessary for polysystem 1 maturation. This mutation and others yet to be discovered may be responsible for genetically unresolved cases in the 7-10% of ADPKD patients without a PKD1 or 2 mutation. With novel mutations and new genes rapidly expanding our understanding of kidney development, the significance of the ciliopathies expands far beyond the cystic kidney diseases. For this reason, they should dominate Net Madness in 2017. This scouting report was written by Brian Stotter, narrated and animated by Cathy Quinlan. Follow me at Kidney Cathy.